Hey everyone, it's Lisa, esthetician and makeup enthusiast. I am back today to continue my skincare foundation series and specifically I am going to be talking about retinols, BHAs, and AHAs. As I'm getting ready, if you're curious about the makeup that I use, this is the Saint Cream Makeup System and I am obsessed with it, especially for maturing skin. My text number will be right up here and you could contact me for a color match to get your custom colors. I find this to be the easiest way now that I'm gaining more customers to do it with this Google text service and it has really been working really well because I could do my responses much quicker. So specifically, I want to talk about the retinols, AHAs, and BHAs, the difference between them and how and when to use them. I recently put up a skin cycling video, which I'm going to put up in the cards so you'll be able to find it easily. And I'll also link it down below in the description so you could reference that video as well as I go through the skin cycling technique and method. I find that to be the safest to uh, keep the skin barrier intact because I'm obsessed with the skin barrier. I am telling you, it is the key to everything. And I feel like the marketing push for exfoliants that has happened over the years has pushed people to kind of just really irritate their skin. So the skin cycling has been key for me in order to, you know, because I'm a little on the sensitive side. I don't know, a lot of people are on the sensitive side. So I think this is the safest way to approach it. So first off, retinol. So retinol is a form of synthetic or natural vitamin A, and that is an antioxidant. You tend to find retinol in serums and creams. And I think of that ingredient as like everything and the kitchen sink. So it is really good for um, anti-aging, softening fine lines, resurfacing the skin, but it's also really great for like acne scarring and hyperpigmentation. So retinol is amazing. Now there are two different types. You know, the retinol is usually what you find over the counter and that is, um, a little bit more of a milder form than what you get from the dermatologist, which is like your retinoic acid. So like retin-A, tretinoin. Those are more heavy duty, the retinoic acid. And it also has to do with how it gets converted like in, in your skin. So without getting like too crazy technical, uh, basically the retinol is already, like the form has already been, the conversion has already happened. So it's a little bit gentler on the skin if you get retinol over the counter. I've shown you this one before. This one I love to use. This is the CeraVe and this is the Resurface surfacing retinol serum. I love this stuff. And because it has the ceramides in it, I feel like, you know, because it's already encouraging the repair of the skin barrier, ceramides do. So uh, I, I love this line. I just feel it works really well for my skin and I'm getting the benefits of retinol exfoliation, but I feel like it doesn't irritate me at all. I'll link all of this stuff down below too. So you'll be able to easily reference it. So another thing too, that is really popular that I love to use also, because I, I don't use these every single day. Again, the skin cycling, like I said, up in the cards. And then also I'm going to put it um, in the description. But there is a retinol alternative called Bacuchiol, which I'm sure you've heard of it before. I have this right back here so I could just easily grab it. This I really have been liking a lot. Bacuchiol Better Aging Serum, Beekman 1802. I like this brand. And this is called the Dream Booster. And um, it's a cute bottle too, cute purple, purple color. But uh, I found this to be really effective and I have no irritation from this at all. Bacuchiol is thought to be, they, I've, I've read that it's been called retinol's gentler sister, like a sister, you know, product of retinol because it's plant-based. So um, I personally find that to be true for my skin because I am on the sensitive side. And this booster, you don't put straight on your face. I actually love that about it because you cut it with a moisturizer or a serum. I love to use it with this Embryolease. And this is the Sicilese Cream. I think I'm saying that right. It's French. But, uh, but it's got ceramides, of course. I'm like always like bathing myself in ceramides. But I love this cream. It's got uh, butters. It's got like avocado butter in this. It's very nourishing. So I use this with that Bacuchio. It's literally only two drops that you need with that. Put a little dollop on, on your palm of your hand, a couple drops of that Bacuchio, mix it together, put it on your skin, and that's it. That is um, my exfoliant for that evening. I alternate between the two, between the CeraVe Retinol and this one. Okay. Now the AHAs and the BHAs. So the AHAs are actually what is, all of these exfoliate like the top surface of skin, uh, the dead skin, but they do it in different ways. So the AHA is most commonly glycolic acids is, is what is used. Glycolic acid is derived from sugar cane and the molecules 
are at a size, they're small enough to be able to penetrate deep into the skin layers so it could effectively do what it's supposed to do, the exfoliation. All of these, the retinol, the AHAs, and the BHAs too, they break the bonds in between, you know, the keratin bonds in between the skin, and that's what allows the skin to be sloughed off. However, the AHAs are water soluble and the BHAs are oil soluble. AHAs are also lactic acid. So I talked about this again in my skin cycling video. So again, I'll put that up in the cards, you know, just for easy reference, if you wanted to go take a look at that video. So the BHAs are awesome for clogged pores. So the one that I really love, I've gotten, I have this from Beauty Pie and um, I'll put their link down below too. It's a, it's a great, um, it's like a makeup subscription type of a thing. And they've got like really, really great products. So this one is Plantastic Micro Peeling Super drops with pore refining fruit smoothers and salicylic acid <laughs> so anyway so yeah so the salicylic acid is a bha so this actually works to dissolve the oil because it's oil soluble in the pore so this is really great for um congested skin blackheads stuff like that I keep referencing my skin cycling video but that is because i went over in that particular video the order on how to use these with the skin cycling and just to briefly go over it here it is generally a four day program where you repeat every four days and the first day is going to be your exfoliating with an enzyme so that would be like a lactic acid you know age something like that it could even be a serum some people will do a physical exfoliant I tend to like the the chemical ones the enzymes that digest the dead skin skin cells so uh, do that first night your second night will be your retinol or bacuchiol your retinol alternative and then the third and the fourth night are recovery nights where you only use nourishing serums like hyaluronic acid you you could always use hyaluronic acid too as um, as your base before doing any of the exfoliant things uh, but the third and the fourth night is strictly hyaluronic acid and moisturization. That way, with the recovery, it actually keeps your skin from being too sensitized from all of this exfoliation. And it's just, it, I really like that they have introduced this skin cycling because it, it's given people a guide as to like how to do this and to not over do the exfoliation because your skin, I mean, you really could have too much of a good thing. I feel like it's taken me nine years to put on my pee because I'm talking about all this stuff I get so now into you it. can use these in conjunction together but I personally kind of shy away from that I like to do these things like as, as standalones but some people if they have like a little bit more you know little sturdy sturdier skin I guess is, is what I could say like you don't get easily sensitized like I do maybe you could combine some of these things together I would not recommend an AHA and the retinol, but some people are okay with doing BHA and retinol because the BHA is the water, I mean the oil soluble into the pores. So some people have better luck uh, with that and cutting down on irritation. But seriously, my recommendation is just to go slow and to do these as standalones on their own evening. And in my skin cycling video, I talk about the, um, the order the four day program, the mornings are always the same, you know, so you're, you, you do, you know, your cleansing, your moisturization, your SPF, all of that stuff is all the same. So your actives are in the evening. So that's why I like to separate them into each different day on its own. Now you can also extend or shrink down your windows, your days. If anything, I have lengthened them before. So instead of two recovery evenings, I'll do three. You know, it really depends on, on what's going on with my skin. And that's what's really nice about this. It's all customizable, just like this makeup. <laughs> so uh, it really depends on, on the person's skin. There are some people that could handle a little bit more. Me, I, I really have to be careful. So I could get the benefits of exfoliation, and but I'm keeping my skin intact and not introducing more problems with the sensitized skin barrier. So essentially that is it. Just in a nutshell, try to do this as quick as possible just to give you an overview. So the BHAs are really great for unclogging pores and it is oil soluble again. And it actually, because of that, seemingly shrinks the size of pores. You can never really shrink the size of a pore, but obviously if it's clogged with dead skin cells and oil and what have you, the appearance will, it'll look larger. So this definitely helps with more of that refining look. So this is really great for oily congested skin. Your Bacuchiol, which is your plant-based retinol alternative. And this particular one from Beekman 1802 is a booster. So you put a couple of drops into a moisturizer. I like to use it with this particular one. And this is from Embryolis. Then you have your actual over-the-counter retinol. This one that I like to use is from CeraVe. 
and I use this on the nights, my second day of my four part skin cycle. So I either use this or I switch and then I use my Bacucciol instead, never together. As always, everything is going to be linked down below, everything that I mentioned and used. And uh, my link tree is on the bottom. All of my info tabs are there for uh, Facebook group. My shopping with you know for Saint link is there. And to get a color match form is there as well. So again, here is my text number, my Google text number. I've been really finding that this is the easiest way to respond quickly to everybody. So I have been really enjoying the service and it is also linked in the description below as well. Once again, thank you for joining me. Any comments that you have or questions or what have you definitely leave them down below and i am always happy to help and guide you through your skincare journey if you want to email me directly that is also on my link tree the little envelope icon and you could just if it's like a longer form and you just want to uh, privately ask me any questions i am totally open to that so please like and subscribe and do all the things and not only does it help me but it also lets YouTube know, the algorithm know that you are looking for more of this kind of a content for uh, skin friendly cosmetics and tips and you know mature skin so that will be suggested to you even more. So once again have a wonderful day, a wonderful evening whenever you happen to be watching this and I will see you again next time.